Hi YouTube family, it's Daughter of the Most High. I have an update on my recent van update. So what happened was is I posted about my van because I'm excited and I wanted to plan like some mini vacations and things like that. I posted about it and the adventures and all that sort of thing on Facebook. Got lots of comments on it and one person had actually commented about halfway down a lengthy post and said, I hope I caught you. Um, he wrote that yesterday. I hope I caught you before, you know, or meaning I hope you see this before you actually go buy your van. And he said that Chrysler Town and Countries and Dodge don't have a good longevity after a hundred thousand miles that they tend to have many breakdowns and that sort of thing. And so I read his comment. I was like, oh, no, you know, oh, so I, it just kind of felt deflating because I was really excited. But I have to realize, you know what? I need to hear this. So I went on at his suggestion, Consumer Reports, and I looked up the 2016 Chrysler Town and Country. Well, guess what? They have five recalls on this particular van. One of the recalls, I believe, is the powertrain. The, one of the other recalls is that the hood latch can not properly latch. So the hood can, you know how it has the like the double latch and you have to kind of do that little lever with your finger so it pops and then you do the second thing? Well, there's something faulty in there and that it can literally, when you're driving, release and block your vision. So I thought, okay, that one thing alone is enough for me to look in another direction. Then there's an issue with the windshield. The wind, You know windshield glass is supposed to break in a specific way if there's an impact so that it does. you don't get this big gash of glass, you know, across your face. It's supposed to crumble. And there's some issue with the glass and the way it's not, it doesn't break the way it's supposed to it, on impact. And then I was like, oh, geez, you know. So then there was a couple other things. But by this time, I was like, done. I was like, okay, I cannot do this. So I did message the guy that I was um, buying this van from. And I messaged him last night. I think I woke him up because he responded almost right away. And, I, you know, me, I'm a night owl. I messaged him at 3.30 in the morning. I'm always up till 3.30 in the morning. And so... He, um, I, you know how you can see when they actually see the message. And I just said, I'm so sorry, but I cannot buy this van. It has five recalls on it. And the history of Chrysler's after 100,000 isn't good. So I'm sorry, I cannot buy the van. I said, please tear up the check, the $100 check. And, you know, take care. So he messaged me about noon or one today and said, you know, I deposited the check on Monday or Sunday night after you wrote it and that's just our deal and I thought well that's your deal that's not my deal because I was gonna get a money order for 6900 bucks because I paid a hundred now that is typical business stuff but I thought it's only been two days and you had the van listed as pending on Facebook marketplace so I thought you know they somebody might know sale house sales fall through vehicle sales fall through you know, there's all kinds of business transactions that fall through. So if you see that something's happening and you think, man, I'm interested in that van or that car or that house, if it that sale falls through, I'm interested. So it's not like people were like, oh, it's a pending sale. I'm going to never look at that again. So anyway, he's not going to refund my money. So um, and it's a hundred bucks. So, I mean, I can live with that, but it, I still didn't think it was very nice. I mean, come on, you know. So I, on the consumer report that I read, they had suggested that the Honda Odyssey and the Toyota Sienna, they said were far better. They used the word far better than Chrysler and Dodge as far as over 100,000 miles as, you know, longevity with your vehicle with minimal repairs. And that's what I need, you know. I think we all need that. But some of us have 
are live a lot more comfortable financially than others. And for me, I've been saving my money and I, I never have a bunch of extra money. And so um, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to pay attention to that. Well, then at work, I shared my story about what happened. And um, somebody at work had said, you know, I think you should look into a Nissan Quest van. That's a really good van. And I think that would be really good for what you're looking for. So I came home from work looked up a Nissan Quest. Guess what? There is one about 20 minutes from where I work, which you know is from an hour from my home. So that's really convenient. And it's, um, unfortunately, it's $9,985. It is, but that's still a really good deal. It's, um, I forgot to write down what year the van is. It's like 2017, I think. It's got 71,000 miles on it. That's it. And it, it, yeah. And it's like a uh, dark exterior, light interior. And so that $10,000 for this van, if it does work out, will be all of my money. As I shared, you know, I was really excited about the Chrysler Town of Country because it was 7,000 bucks, 121K you know, mileage. And, uh, but I thought, you know, this at least gives me some money to, you know, fix the inside and get myself ready and all that kind of stuff. Well, if this van works out, which is, I love the 71,000. I mean, that's so wonderful. That's such a one great deal, but it's going to drain me. So I'm going to have to like back to saving again, because I don't like to be down to the nubs. I don't like to be you know, after I pay my bills, I've got 50 bucks, you know, that's not, I've lived that way a lot in my life and I don't want to. So, um, but I'm going to go drive it on Saturday, uh, and check out this Nissan Quest. So we'll see. So that's what happened. That's the change. And I know some people, I had some on my Facebook and some on my, uh, YouTube say that they have a Chrysler Town of Country and love it. I get it. I loved it too. And I loved the, um, oh, the, uh, Dodge Grand Caravan. I loved it. It was like driving a car. I understand why you guys buy them. And I don't buy a lot of vehicles. I don't know a lot about vehicles and people I know don't know a lot about vehicles. So it's easy to, I almost bought this, you know, vehicle. So I don't want you to feel bad if you have you know, the Chrysler Town and Country, you know, and God will cover you, you know, or hopefully make a way for you through that like he does. It was just a different journey for me, and I, I got the heads up at this point. So, and I'm grateful for that. Um, I want to share a story with you, too. Um, my friend's daughter, she is 27, and she saved up like five or six thousand dollars for a car she bought a car and shortly after buying this car like i'm set, like two months in like two months after getting this car saving her money excited about her new car something serious happened to the engine it was not fixable i don't remember what happened my friend told me this story and this is months ago so i don't remember what the details were but her daughter literally bawled her head off i would too now, my friend is not a believer, and her daughter's not a believer, so that they don't pray about things before they do it. But I still felt really bad for her daughter. When you save five or six thousand dollars and you're in school and you're working and you're doing all your stuff, you don't want to put five or six grand into a car that you think is going to at least be a good little car for a couple years and it croaks, you know, two months after you get it and you lose all your money. Yeah, she sobbed. I would too. So that's what we, that's what we're always hoping will not happen. And knowing that, you know, when we pray about things that God's, you know, pray and listen and watch, God will show us, you know, the ways he's always got a plan for us. So anyway, that happened to her and I felt really bad. I felt bad for my friend and, you know, you feel bad when that's your kid. You don't want that to happen. So, so I felt bad for my friend and her daughter. So anyway, 
I uh, want to avoid that one. But so that's my scoop. I'm not going to keep updating. Like if I choose not to get this Nissan off, I do get it. I'll share, but I'm not going to do van updates every time I'm looking at a vehicle. I've looked at many vans, many vans. And um, so I don't share about them all. It was just because I was thinking that I found one that I was going to buy and my adventures and I, you know, the wheels were turning up here. I was like, yeah, I'm, moving. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this, you know, it's moving forward. It's exciting. And, but I'm not going to detail my entire journey. So, but, uh, so that's, that's my scoop though. And I'm happy. I was a little bit disappointed when I first read that because you know how you get really excited and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, but it's, I actually needed that news. I needed that information and I needed to look up consumer reports and I need to be better about it. So I'll look up consumer reports on my Nissan Quest as well. So um, anyway, family, that's my, that's my update on my van life. So I'm still excited to move forward into this. And I just encourage you um, to keep moving forward too, as far as what your plans are. The thing that we have to be concerned about is the Vax Passport or if our own like business company, whoever we work for, decides to make the VAX mandatory. So we may be thinking, well, my state might not move in that direction. What if you're, the, whoever you work for moves in that direction? So it can go either way. It can go both ways, you know. So we have to be prepared. And that's what I've been doing. Now, again, part of what I'm doing is because I am 60 and I just need to do some vacationing and biking and sightseeing and traveling and just do some of the stuff that I have not done because of my life circumstances. I want to do it now. So uh, that's my plan. But I'm also planning because we know the times that we live in. So I'm encouraging you to do the same and make a plan. My van will be a bug out van if, let's say, our nation gets attacked um, or the Vax Passport or, you know, depending on what happens. So if it is just your company that says, you know, we want everybody vaccinated by July 1st or whatever it would be, you can maybe find another job or in your same field. But my point is, is that things are clamping down on us and we are in the end times. And so it's just important to prepare. And that's what I'm doing and just sharing a little bit of my journey. So that's the scoop fam. That's all I have for today. I hope you have a blessed couple of days and uh, I will see you probably this weekend.